In today's video, we are revisiting Samsung's multi-control, and this time with updated devices. We have the Galaxy Tab S9 to the left, the Book 3 Pro 360 in the middle, and the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to the right. And what does Samsung multi-control allow you to do? Well, there you see my mouse pointer right in the middle of the screen on the Book 3 Pro 360. Here we go, we drag it over to the Tab S9. We'll go ahead and open up YouTube. We're gonna drag it over now to the uh, Z Fold 5. And again, we'll go ahead and open up YouTube. In addition to being able to use the mouse on your Book 3 Pro 360 on your other devices, you can also use a keyboard. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that on the Z Fold 5. Samsung, let's go ahead and press enter. All right, there you go. So now you can basically take control of all of your devices right from your Galaxy Book. So let's talk about getting this set up on all your devices so you can take advantage of multi-control. The first thing you want to do on your Galaxy Book is make sure that everything's up to date. That includes checking Samsung Update, as well as checking for Windows updates. Once your system is completely up to date, go ahead and restart it. And then you want to open up Bluetooth and other device settings. You're going to want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. In addition to that, make sure that all your devices are signed into the same Samsung account and make sure they're all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And the same applies to your Galaxy devices. You want to swipe down, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network and connected to Bluetooth. Then on all of the Galaxy devices that you want to connect up to your Galaxy Book, you want to swipe down, go into settings. You're going to go to connected devices and you're going to want to make sure multi-control is turned on. You're going to want to do that on all of the devices that you connect up to your Galaxy Book. Once that's all done, you want to open up Samsung settings on your Galaxy Book. And then on the left hand side, you want to go ahead and click on connected devices and the multi-control is going to be your second option here. Go ahead and make sure you turn that on and then you'll need to wait a few seconds for it to connect to your devices. If they don't automatically connect up, you'll see your devices listed down here. Go ahead and click on each one of these to go ahead and establish that connection and then they will show up up top here. And what's really cool is we can drag and drop all these devices like this. Watch. We'll go ahead and move this up here. So now what happens is it thinks that my Z Fold 5 is on top of the laptop. This is really cool if you have a shelf or something like that and you want to put your tablet or your Z Fold up top. So now after I apply this, I can go ahead and move my mouse pointer up and that's going to bring it up into the Z Fold 5 and I'll bring it back down to return it back to the Galaxy Book. Let's go ahead and put it back where it was. All right, because this is the orientation that I have it in, right? Tablet on the left, PC in the middle, Z Fold 5 on the right. Let's go ahead and hit apply. So you can completely customize where you want the devices to appear while you're using Samsung Multi-Control. So let's go ahead and answer some questions based on the first video we did last year and some others that have come up since then. So the first question is, do external keyboard and mice work with Samsung's Multi-Control? And the answer is yes, you sure can. You can hook up an external mouse and keyboard. It doesn't matter if it's a USB-C connection, a wireless dongle, or Bluetooth connection, doesn't matter. You can see here we have the mouse pointer right in the middle, the Book 3 Pro 360. I'll move it around a little bit. Let's go over to the tablet and let's go over to the Z Fold 5. Same applies for the keyboard. We'll go ahead and start typing. There we go, search for Samsung, works great. The next question you may have, is Samsung's multi-control compatible with the upcoming One UI 6 release? Well, I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra running One UI 6 beta right now. And as you can see here, we are connected with multi-control and I'll go ahead and open up YouTube. Works great, no problem. So it's already set up and configured to work with One UI 6. The next question you might have is, is being further away from my Wi-Fi router going to impact multi-control? And is there an impact if I start spreading my devices further apart? And the answer to both of those is yes. You will start to see lag if you start to get a long ways away from your home Wi-Fi router. And you'll also start to see lag between the devices if you separate them too far. So my best advice is to keep the devices close together. You're going to have them that way anyway, right? Since you're moving your mouse pointer from one device to the other. And to stay as close as possible to your Wi-Fi router because that does help speed up the performance quite a bit. The next question you may have is, can you copy and paste files from one device to the other? So I've got a thumbnail here on the Book 3 Pro 360. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, we'll move it over to the uh, S23 Ultra. And there we see we have one file transfer to downloads. So yes, you can copy from one device to the other. A nice way to transfer files without having to use Quick Share, Link Share, Samsung Flow, and all those other means. You have that built in right here with Samsung Multi-Control. And the last question you might have is, 
Hey, for the life of me, I cannot get this working. And my number one suggestion to get this working, in all honesty, restart your devices. I know that sounds so cliche and you hear that from IT people all the time. Hey, did you restart your computer? But honestly, that resolves it for me like 95% of the time. Just restart your Galaxy Book, restart your Galaxy devices, and all of a sudden the stuff just starts working. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.